morning and welcome to today's special presentation of the Patriot Times Live. Today we're joined by a successful and special group of students. All right, Charlton Creston, Charlton Creston Academy was opened in 2012 after a small group of community members fought back to reopen their school, followed by the sudden closing of their school by the school district. After a lot of hard work and learning, the group opened Charlton Creston Academy, a public school of choice. The school opened its doors to students in grades K through 8th, adding on an additional grade each year since 2012. Now here we are in 2016, five years later, joined by the first graduating class of Charlton Heston Academy. So welcome to the Patriot Times, Patriots. We're so thankful that you joined us today and, your congr and congratulations on reaching your senior year. So first, let's start with a raise of hands. Raise your hand if you've been here since the first year, since 2012, your eighth grade year. Hi, my name is Brandon Perryman. I go by Dragon sometimes. <laughs> my favorite part about CHA is probably the teacher's involvement with the students. Like, I mean, no other school is like this in the sense that you can just, you can expect your teacher to be there when you need help. Uh, it's, it's uncomparable, incomparable to anything I've ever seen in school. Who else? Any questions? Who else? Uh, <coughs> my name is Amy Briggs, and my favorite thing about the CHA is all the opportunities that the staff and the teachers in general have offered, like all the college classes and all the support and all that good stuff. <laughs> all right, one more. Who else is going? My name is RJ Taylor, and uh, <laughs> one of the, my favorite things about CHA is how accepting everyone is, no matter what school you come from, or uh, race, or disability, everyone's, you know, they fit you in, and they put you in your own little, little spot. to CHA, I was a mix of afraid and excited because it was something entirely new. I didn't know who was coming and I didn't know any of the teachers. I'm really glad I came here though. It's been a lot of fun. Alright, anyone else want to answer that? Go ahead. Um, my name is Alexis Chapman and it was really exciting for me to start here because I went to elementary school here. And when I left in the fourth grade, that was when they closed the school. And it was really sad because I had a lot of memories here. So being able to come back and graduate from the same school that I started in was really cool and exciting. I'm Julie Badalamente, and my first thought when I started here was how small it was. And I was actually really scared because, it was, I don't know, I didn't know if any of my friends were actually coming here. Or So, Ms. Fazzo, Ms. Johnson, Ms. Mostyn, you've been here since the very first year. How did you feel and what emotions were you having towards joining a brand new school and being part of such a large experience? <laughs> okay, so when I first started here, I was really excited. It was a new community. It was a new area. I was exci excited to start a new English program because I was the first high school English teacher. So I had a lot of freedom and fun. <laughs> okay. I was really excited. Um, I was the first advisor when they were in eighth grade, so it was really exciting to have the oldest group of kids and to get to follow them. They can never get rid of me, ever. Um, so it's been a really good experience for me. Nope, this is so funny. <laughs> um, I'm Mrs. Mostyn. 
i joined just at the end of the first year in a new community that i had never been to in an area that i wasn't familiar with. so everything was brand new, including the school, um the students, everything. so it was a huge challenge and i would do it all over again. all right now teachers, what do you feel is the biggest achievement of cha? I don't need a microphone, I'm loud. Um, I think, <laughs> thanks, girl. I think that the biggest achievement for CHA is just building the high school. Um, we've had two additions, and now we're working on the third of the gymnasium. And just watching the school grow from where we started, very small, um, in an old elementary building, to like this big, beautiful, brand new high school for the kids is, I think, our biggest achievement so far. And all the graduating seniors. Woohoo! <laughs> We all, oh, we all say so. Um, so I guess the biggest achievement, I think, is how far we've expanded out. We have a lot of electives. We have a lot of travel opportunities. We have college classes here. Um, from starting back in a four-classroom section of an old elementary building to this facility is amazing just over four years. So can you tell us a little bit about the graduating seniors? They are very smart and capable humans that are going to make wonderful adults in the world. They're all going a lot of different ways after graduation. We have kids going down to Detroit. We have kids going up to Marquette, um, which is pretty much the expansion of the state. Um, we have kids that have huge dreams, and I'm really excited to see what they accomplish. Uh, they're they're really special. They're hilarious. <laughs> they crack us up every day. Um, they're super fun to be around, and we're just really gonna miss them. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> I will say what's nice about having the same group of kids for their freshman to senior year. You see them when they don't want to learn, when they realize learning isn't that bad, and now with seniors, they have their own motivation. They have their own goals. They understand what they need to do. So. Now when you have a senior class, it's what else can we learn, and it's questions, and it's curiosity. That's my favorite part about this class. Thank you, teachers. Now, Mr. Patterson, you're officially from here, and you moved back home to get help CHA get up and running again. Are you satisfied with the growth, and did you expect it to be this after such a short period? <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, so I think, uh, I did not expect the school to be this big, and by big I mean the population, the size of the building, um, everything that we offer. Uh, our initial plan when we wrote the, the application to open the school wasn't even close to, to this. Um, but you know, am I satisfied? I'm satisfied in a lot of ways, but, but I think you know this is a journey that's never ending, and so I don't think I'm fully satisfied. I don't know if I ever will be fully satisfied. I think we. Um, you know, we have some great achievements, we climb the mountain, and we celebrate, and we get to the top, and then we look for the next mountain to climb, and um, just a few years ago, you know, these students were in eighth grade, and some of, the, some of these uh, students have joined us since then, and it's just amazing to see them, uh, you know, graduate here and do much. So, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what these students do post-secondary, including yourself, um, and then have you guys come back to the school and tell us your stories, and we're going to follow you along the way. Um, so. I want to take this opportunity as well to you know, plug our three teachers here because I think that, uh, <clears throat> among other things, uh, the students here, hopefully they know me well enough to know that if there's adults that aren't taking care of them, uh, it's going to be a big issue. I mean, these people right here are going to be with these students um, every day, in and out, I go above and beyond. I don't even know half the things that they do. I find out they're the great kind and it's all great. Um, and um, we're just really, really blessed to, to have three leaders like this uh, part of your class. So, do you have any regrets taking on such a big challenge? And if you could go back to one point and change it, what would you do? Yeah, you know, I, I try not to live with regrets uh, professionally or personally, but I, I think if I could do things over again, uh, I feel like I spent a lot of time in the community on the front end. I can vividly remember uh, being a judge in a talent show when I first moved up here to watch Morgan sing, uh, sing and got rained out that day and Lexi Chapman's parents drove me and my kids home from the, uh, <laughs> from the, or the, uh, the township park and it was pouring rain and I can remember Brandon Craven coming into Folsom Insurance Agency when he first enrolled and 
And I remember that cheesy joke, but it was something about a polar bear. <laughs> um, I can remember the, the very last teacher we hired, uh, which was Ms. Bazo, um, who uh, hailed from the East Detroit at the time, and uh, it was a three hour trip, and she was the very last teacher we hired, and um, pound for pound, tell me what about it. But you know, I think if I could go back, I would spend even more time in the community. Uh, this community has just been awesome to me uh, in no certain terms. Really embraced um, everything that we're about as a leadership team and a staff. Um, and uh, whenever anything's needed with any family, with the school, or our extended community, um, St. Helen community is always right there. So I think if I could turn back time, I'd, I'd find time to spend even more time out in the community and do even more events and, and get to know folks even more so. Uh, what is your predictions for the future of CHA now that we have achieved our first graduating senior class? Well, um, <clears throat> so I always keep the end in mind. So graduating high school is, is a feat. And um, we, we've got some, some great folks here that are going to go out into the world and do some great things. And um, I, I think my prediction is going to be that uh, we're going to have some really, really great success stories with some post-secondary things and then what happens after college. Because the ultimate goal is to be able to have the occupation of your choice and, and have quality of life. Whatever that means to each individual person, to be able to love your life and, and have that quality of life. And I'm really, really interested in predicting that folks are going to come back and say, I have a really happy life. And this is why I have a happy life, and uh, at least some of it was attributed to CHA and, and great teachers like this and really that we're working. students, how many of you have already made your decision to go to college? Wow, that's a lot, even including myself. Um, no, I'm just going to raise my hand, so what college do you guys want to go to? Okay. Um, I'm going to be going to Northern Michigan University at the Marquette. I'm also going to be going to Northern Michigan University in Marquette. <laughs> so my name is Morgan Ludwig, and I'm going to be going to Wayne State University down in Detroit. Any others? I am Marissa Zira, and I plan on going to Baker College in Marquette Township. All right, well, thank you guys for answering questions. Has it registered to you guys in your mind how big of a deal it is to be the first graduating class of CHA? And do any of you personally feel like you've paved a path for future students and for the success of CHA? They've always known what a big deal they are. <laughs> they came in knowing they were a big deal. <laughs> Does anyone want to talk about the hopes for the future success of CHA and how they feel personally? Personally, I want to see more programs come up. You know, my little sister is in fifth grade, I think, right now. <laughs> and uh, I just want to see her have more opportunity coming into the high school than what I had. As the first graduating class, there was a lack of, uh, a lack of you know, sports and extracurricular activities in general that I could participate in, which is understandable being the first graduating class. Um, I think we paved a good, good little solid path for the future. Uh, people are going to learn from what we did wrong. <laughs> and what you did right. And what we did right. We did, we did more right than wrong, I think, but... Most days. Most days. <laughs> I just want to see in the future a lot of opportunity, which I know this school is going to be able to bring because we're growing just at this amazing rate. I mean, this cafeteria is just packed to the brim every morning. It's crazy. Does anyone else want to talk about the future? No? Okay. And now before we sign off, can I get all of you seniors to tell everyone what your name is so they can remember you all? Hi, I'm Amanda Sanchez. I'm Kaylee Brace. I'm Alexis Chapman. I'm Haley Cooper. 
I'm Julia Valamonte. I'm Cliff Kimball. I'm Bianca Vieira. I'm Marissa Zira. I'm Tabitha Stringham. I'm Amanda Hart. <laughs> I'm Jordan Ludwig. I'm Roger Taylor. I'm EJ Silva. I'm Tyler Silva. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Daniel Ferguson. I'm Morgan Ludwig. <laughs> I'm Anthony Peters. I'm Morgan Smith. I'm Nathaniel Snyder. <laughs> I'm Brandon or Dragon Parent. <laughs> and I'm Morgan Simmons. All right, and thank you all. We are proud of you. We'd like to congratulate you all on a job well done. And thank you for joining us today. We wish you the best of luck in the future. And thank you for joining us today on this special senior class town hall in Patriot Times Live. And we'll see you after break.